today we saw a lot of models but what is exactly uh, a model what do we mean for model well we we start from uh, from the reality okay so for example in this uh, in this picture i try to draw or well it's not pivot i draw it but uh, anyhow there are uh, two guys here this guy here and this guy here where they are bringing something like uh, some window something some mirror or something and here there is a corner and someone else is is coming from the other side and this guy it has a cap there are some lights he's uh, reading an italian newspaper so that is what we may say the the reality and a model is a representation of the reality that start from a research question so a, mo a model exists because behind it there is a research question that the model want to answer and only based on this research question the model select pick up the elements from the reality that are important to answer that we believe are uh, we assume are important to uh, to answer the the question in the case the the question is if this guy here will splash within uh, this uh, this mirror these other two guys or not so here is our model our representation of the reality if you go back to the previous slide so the fact that this guy is uh, is uh, wearing a, a cap uh, or the fact that there is a light here it may or may not matters uh, it matters if we for example because we are assuming a, a constant speed in our model so these facts here is really a newspaper is not watching these other two guys may a part of the reality that we keep it in the way we are uh, uh, in and we formalize this saying that the constant of this guy the, the speed of this guy is constant so after we pick up the elements that we want to know we need to give them a mathematical formalization so the elements we want to know are uh, com if we consider here the, the 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 center where the the impact may or may not happen what we want to know is uh, this distance here for for b and this two distance here for a1 and a2 and the speed that they travel so that is all the informations that we we need from uh, our our model and as i say we are going to make some assumptions that the speed of uh, a and b are, are constant okay so will our uh, model be uh, be good well it all depends on uh, the assumptions that we make uh, because um, a model but not only depend from the assumptions but also uh, the way we g give it a mathematical formalization because models okay so this is a, a mathematical formalization that we give so the time uh, needed for uh, uh, for the guy a1 to arrive to the crossing of the to the crossing is given by it's the distance there is from from the crossing to him uh, divided by wow by, by speed uh, so this is a very basic uh, physical model and we claim that the crash will happens only if uh, the uh, the time of uh, of the guy b is between the time of the two guys that are bringing the, the mirror okay and models can be wrong either in the assumptions that they make of the real world to in order to uh, to formalize it and uh, and answer the questions 
or they could be wrong also in the uh, in the formalization they give uh, to their model. So the assumptions are correct, but the, the deductive part of the model is somehow corrupted. And here I take two examples of this second one where the assumptions were scored. These are two satellites that crashed. If I remember correctly, one is because the unit was in um, international system rather than imperial uh, units for some parts and the other one it was an error in the in the way that the model then has been programmed we was at the beginning of a very big uh, in 1962 very big uh, uh, computers and uh, there was a code that uh, they didn't put a comma uh, it was a matrix code so they didn't put uh, this to trans transpose a matrix and that was enough to to crash the satellite so the third things that i didn't put it here is that the mathematical formalization nobody is often implemented in terms of a programming uh, uh, language so our physical model as a idea as a ideal uh, uh, theoretical representations, then it has a uh, mathematical formalizations here, but then you can go one step further and nowhere you go almost always to this step to implement this uh, mathematical formalization within a programming language. In this case, I pick up Julia, my favorite nowadays programming language, I would say. So you create a functions that take the parameters that you need from the real world and determine if uh, a crash will happen or, or not. And depending on the parameters, you will have uh, the, the crash or not. So again, the way you do this one is also important. It's not only considering good assumptions that is uh, important to have a, a model that, that is able to answer your research question.